At Bedrosian, we aim to align the goals of academics and practitioners, to make clear what good government looks like, to work to foster effective governance and spread good ideas, and ultimately, to work to make sure that government implements good policy. We've made a fundamental mistake in um, our uh, framing of tax and fiscal policy debates, which is to, in this country, to obsess over the progressive income tax, when in fact what we should be focusing on is do we have a progressive fiscal system. We have lots of instances, lots of anecdotes of government failure, but that doesn't mean uh, that we should conclude from that that there's nothing useful for government to do in our lives. The book argues exactly the opposite. The purpose of government is not to take money away from us through taxation, it's to spend money. And taxing is simply the way we finance the spending. And the question is, is that spending purposive? We need a bigger government and because the spending itself is so progressive and the spending dominates the taxing side. Of course, there are, there are costs to taxation, but there are also opportunity costs for not pursuing productive uh, investment opportunities. So we're not redistributing when we tax and invest. We're in fact investing and growing a bigger pie. And the question is how will that invest, the returns on that investment be shared? One of the unique characteristics of America is we define ourselves through work. And so if you want to say, what can I do to enhance welfare in the broadest sense, it's where can I have, find good quality, dignified jobs for wide uh, numbers of Americans. Uh, investment in ourselves, in infrastructure, for example, has both the narrow financial returns and also these larger economic returns. Our lifetime incomes and our lifetime satisfactions are tied directly to how much we invest in ourselves, principally through education. And uh, the country gets richer as we invest more in ourselves. The academic achievement gap which, uh, between rich and poor is 30 to 40 percent higher, greater today than it was 20 years ago. We're one of four countries in the OECD uh, that uh, systematically spends more on the public education of rich kids than on poor kids. In a world in which kids graduate university with no debt uh, and health care is a world in which kids can take risks and try things that they cannot. Um, if you go to any big Wall Street law firm, it is populated by deeply unhappy young associate lawyers who are there to pay off their debt. That's a profoundly sad way of organizing um, uh, our country. So we need for a Congress to appreciate the importance of investment at every level, in particular appreciating the importance of uh, investing uh, in education uh, as a way of honoring uh, the quality of opportunity. Implementing good policy, that's the way we move forward together and prosper. We're all in this together.